In a story you'll see only on 12, a Bridgeport man who says he was the victim of human trafficking spoke publicly for the first time today about his horrifying experience. News 12 Connecticut's Frank Recchia is here. And Frank, this man says he was starved and forced to work in deplorable conditions. Christy, he says considering what he went through, it is a miracle he wasn't killed. He asked that we not show his face to protect his family. My son is still have uh, nightmares. Paulo Fuentes of Bridgeport says he paid $30,000 to get himself and his family into the U.S. illegally from their native Brazil. But then he and his wife were sold into slavery and forced to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week. We cannot leave because they have our kids at home. Fuente says he was eventually arrested, and then he cooperated with authorities to help bring down a major trafficking ring. That was a very scary time. If they don't obey, they're likely to be killed. Immigration attorney Alex Mayorovich says the illegal trade of human beings for the purpose of forced labor and sexual exploitation, as captured in this video furnished by the U.S. Department of Justice, is a growing problem here in southwestern Connecticut. Human trafficking is a lucrative business. It generates billions. Sarah Herbert Galloway of Greenwich is an advocate for human trafficking victims. She says building awareness locally is critical to solving the problem. We freed the slaves 150 years ago, and here we are today, 2012, having human slavery exist in our own country as well as other countries. These people have been treated as inhuman. Senator Richard Blumenthal is a co-chair of the bipartisan Senate caucus to end human trafficking. This kind of modern day slavery simply is intolerable and most Americans would react with fury and outrage if they knew about it. Blumenthal says the new caucus will support prosecution efforts, remove demand and help survivors. Frank Recchia, News 12 Connecticut.